Hi guys, Action 007 Cinema here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2013 action sci-fi movie called Elysium. This movie is set in the year 2154, when the Earth is diseased, polluted, and vastly overpopulated. Every city that was once beautiful has turned into slums. Moreover, the society is divided into two classes, the higher and lower class. The Earth's wealthiest and powerful people have created a new place to live. It lies on the Earth's orbit, far away from the poor who live on Earth. That place is called Elysium, a modern space station with many luxurious resources and advanced technologies. There is no sadness and sickness there. In Elysium, there is a technology called MedBay. It's a privately owned medical chamber that can be used to heal any disease or physical injury. Meanwhile on Earth, there lived an ex-criminal named Max. He works in a factory owned by Armadine Corporation, which manufactures robots for Elysium. It turns out that the CEO of that company is a resident of Elysium, his name is John. He mostly stays on Earth to monitor the factories. One day, before entering the factory to work, a security robot breaks Max's wrist for being disobedient. Because of that, he goes to the hospital and surprisingly meets Frey, his old friend in the orphanages, who is now working as a nurse. Unfortunately, Frey doesn't have much time to talk with Max because she is too busy as the hospital is too crowded. On the other hand, a group of people is queuing to board into a rustic-looking spaceship. They are going to fly to Elysium. They are given an identity brand on their hand to allow them to access any facility in Elysium. It turns out that the man behind this is Spider, a smart criminal who has formulated an illegal emigration operating system for the people to break into Elysium. However, breaking into Elysium is very risky as the Elysium authorities will shoot down the illegal spaceships. Finally, three spaceships depart to Elysium. As soon as the spaceship approaches Elysium, Elysium's security system detects them. The Defense Secretary of Elysium, Jessica, is immediately alerted about this issue. The spaceships are then given a strong warning to turn back. However, those spaceships don't seem to heed the warning. Jessica instructed her special agent on Earth, Kruge, to shoot those spaceships down, even though that action is illegal. He immediately carried out Jessica's order by firing missiles into the ships. But only two of the spaceships are successfully taken down. The third ship dodged the missile and finally manages to land on Elysium. Jessica instructed the guard robots to apprehend everyone inside that ship. However, there are two people who successfully make it to a med bay in someone's house. They are a mother and her sick daughter who can't walk. Her daughter's identification band allows her to access MedBay. In just a few seconds, she can finally walk again. Her mother is so happy to see it. However, a guard robot manages to find them. They and the other arrested Earthers are finally deported back to Earth. Because of Jessica's illegal action of shooting down innocent Earthers, the president of Elysium instructs her to face him. However, Jessica reminds him that there are a lot of life in Elysium that must be protected including her family. But still, he doesn't consider it as a logical reason to do that, so he warns her that he won't hesitate to fire her if she causes more casualties. He also decides to deactivate Kruger because he has a lot of criminal records and is diagnosed with serious psychological issues. Kruger is so furious knowing that he is dismissed. Meanwhile, Max works at the factory as usual. Suddenly, his supervisor alerts him that there is a jam inside the room and he has to go inside to fix it. Max knows that going in may be risky for him as the radiation process will be started, but he has no choice. Soon after Max goes in, the door suddenly closes and Max is blasted with a dangerous radiation wave. A medical robot immediately sends him to a medical room. Max is told that he will experience catastrophic organ failure soon and only has five days left to live. However, he is given some pills to keep him physically functional until he dies. On the other hand, Max realizes that the only way to save his life is Medbay. He asks his criminal friend Julio to accompany him to meet Spider. However, even though Max is dying, Spider doesn't help him to fly to Elysium just like that. He orders Max to do a hard task for him. Max has to plug something into Elysium's high-level official's brain who is going to Earth soon. By doing that, Spider will obtain confidential information, such as bank codes and login data of that man, and it will lead him to billions of dollars. If Max can successfully do the mission, Spider will make sure that Max will fly to Elysium and get his treatment. However, Spider knows that Max's physical condition doesn't support him to carry out this mission. 
so he decides to transform Max into a cyborg by attaching a third-generation powered exoskeleton into him. That exoskeleton will be connected to Max's nervous system by implanting a neural chip into his brain. This will allow Max to have the power equal to a police robot. Meanwhile, it turns out that the Elysium's official that they are going to hijack is John, the CEO of Armadine Corporation. Jessica, who is already fed up with the president's ideologies, makes an agreement with John. In order to receive a contract renewal, John has to reboot and override the Elysium central system and then place a new president in power, which is herself. It is not a difficult task for John because he is the one who built the Elysium central system. John agrees to do the job and goes back to the Earth to start making a program that Jessica requested. Moreover, he also programs a denial system that would kill anyone who attempts to extract the data. After finishing the program, John is immediately heading back to Elysium to conduct his mission. However, Max and his team have already been waiting for him. They manage to shoot down his spaceship before it leaves the Earth. In Elysium, Jessica is notified that John is in danger. She has no choice other than instructing Kruger to save him and the data, even though he has been deactivated. On the other hand, Max and his team are surrounding John's spaceship. However, a fully armed guard robot suddenly confronts them. A shootout ensues and John is shot during the process. Knowing that John is shot, they immediately knock the guard robot down and retrieve the data from John's brain. Unfortunately, they can't read the data because the data is corrupted. Kruger finally arrives and starts firing them with bullets. All of Max's teammates are killed, including his best friend, Julio. Max is heavily injured due to that attack, but he manages to escape. Jessica is so stressed knowing that her key to be the president of Elysium is stolen. She blocks all the signals and airspace in a wide area where Max potentially be, so no spaceship can leave until he is caught. Meanwhile, Kruger, who also gets the data, realizes that the information in Max's head is a secret reboot program, which could also be their key to conquer Elysium. So he encourages his men to find Max for their own benefits. On the other hand, the injured Max goes to ask help from Frey. She brings him to her house, takes care of his wounds, and lets him recover at her house. The day after, Max finds out that Frey's daughter is in the final stage of leukemia and doesn't have much time left. Frey asks Max to take her daughter to Elysium so she can be healed using the medbay. However, Max tells him that he is chased by very dangerous people, and it is not a wise decision to bring her with him. Max leaves them and heads to Spider's place to report. Before Max goes far from Frey's house, Kruger successfully tracks Max with the help of his drones. They come and break into Frey's house to interrogate her about Max, but she has no idea where Max is going. They finally take Frey and her daughter as hostages. Max is so disappointed knowing the airspace is jammed by Jessica. It means that he can't fly to Elysium. However, Spider believes that the key to open the airspace blockade is in Max's head, so he decides to check it first. He is so surprised to find out that the information in Max's head is a code to reboot the Elysium central system. He has a crucial plan. He is going to rewrite the corrupted code, reboot the Elysium system, and make every person on Earth as the citizen of Elysium. By doing that, all humans will be able to enjoy the medbay facility and the world can be freed from disease. However, it can't be solved in hours. They need at least five days to do it while Max doesn't have that much time. Finally, Max realizes that the only way to go to Elysium is through Kruger. He decides to surrender himself to him, in hopes that he could make an agreement with Jessica later. He wants to trade the crucial data in his head for a chance to use the medbay to save his life. Inside Kruger's spaceship, Max is so surprised when they find out that Frey and her daughter are being held hostage. Knowing that Max is already caught, Jessica lifts the air space jam so they can fly to Elysium. However, Spider and his team, who realizes that the air space jam has been lifted up, get into their spaceship to pursue Max and carry out Spider's plan. They don't have to rewrite the code if they can reboot it directly in Elysium. Meanwhile, on Kruger's ship, Max is having an argument with Kruger and his men, and they start to hit each other. The spaceship starts to fly out of control as they accidentally hit a crucial navigation button. Moreover, a grenade explodes and blows half of Kruger's face. The spaceship finally crashes onto a luxury house in Elysium. Frey brings her dying daughter out of the spaceship and rushes into the nearest house, looking for a med bay. She manages to find one and immediately puts her daughter inside it but it doesn't work as her daughter doesn't have Elysium citizenship. Unfortunately, one of Kruger men finally finds and catches them. 
Kruger's men put Kruger in a med bay to fix his face. He isn't dead yet. In the other room, Jessica is going to extract the information from Max's head. Even though this process will kill Max, Jessica still orders her scientists to carry out the extraction. When they are about to begin, Max sees Frey and her daughter are being taken somewhere. It motivates him to use his remaining power and manages to free himself. At the same time, Jessica scolds Kruger for crashing his spaceship into a suburban area and jeopardizing her plan. As Jessica starts insulting him, he is raged and stabs Jessica in the neck. Now, Kruger plans to get the code inside Max's head and make himself as the new president in power. He also orders his men to kill all the politicians in that building so he can carry out his plan more freely. Meanwhile, Spider and his men finally arrived in Elysium. They are looking for Max to carry out their plan. Max, who is looking for Frey and her daughter, sees their arrival and contacts him to go forward with their plan. After he finds them, he instructs her to go to the nearest med bay and wait until Spider's plan works. Not long after that, Max meets Spider and his men. They rush to start their plan, but Kruger catches them on their way. Max and Kruger get into a fight, but Kruger is too strong for Max. But the situation is finally turning when Max manages to take off Kruger's neural chip, disrupting his whole system. Kruger is finally defeated. Max and Spider rush to the system control room and get ready for the extraction, but they just find out that anyone who extracts the code will be killed. However, Max is willing to die for the billions of people on Earth, so they can enjoy Med Bay. In his limited time, he calls Frey and reminds her that he has fulfilled the promise he made to her when they were little, which was to take her to Elysium. After that heartbreaking moment, Max presses the button to reboot Elysium's central system, and he is immediately dead. The system then starts to register every human on Earth as an Elysium citizen, including Frey's daughter. Now she can use Med Bay and is finally cured of leukemia. On the other hand, many Med Bays and robot doctors are sent to Earth. Now, everyone on the Earth can enjoy Med Bay and the Earth becomes a better place to live. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.